So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video we will cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Canon's EOS 77D. Initially released in the spring of 2017, the 77D sits roughly between Canon's 80D and T7 digital SLR cameras. Technically, it's the unofficial successor to the T6S, but a camera Canon uses as an extra option in their lower mid-range lineup for users looking at their 80D, but feel its price is too high. Canon aims this camera as a competitor to Nikon's D5600 and D7500 SLRs and Sony's A6300. It features a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor along with the Digix 7 image processor, which combine to offer virtually identical performance to the 80D and M5. Overall, image quality is excellent with pleasing color rendition and a strong dynamic range. It also delivers continuous shooting speeds up to 6 frames per second and a 27 shot buffer, making it more than sufficient for most day to day shooting. On the video front, it shoots 1080p full HD video up to 60 frames per second. The footage is sharp and provides usable results without the need for any real post-processing. Low light performance is also quite strong, and another aspect that is virtually identical to the 80D and M5, it features a native ISO range from ISO 100 to 25600, and users can expect usable images up to ISO 6400 and videos up to ISO 3200. For focus, it features a 45-point all-cross-type system with Canon's acclaimed dual-pixel CMOS AF, a first for a Rebel series camera. And the centermost point is also now sensitive, down to negative 3 EV. Battery performance is also excellent. It uses the same LPE17 battery as the M5, but delivers 600 shots per charge. For displays, it features a 3-inch very angle touchscreen, similar to the 80D, with fantastic viewing angles and excellent flexibility. It also provides an optical viewfinder and a top-facing LCD as well. Physically, the camera hasn't changed much compared to the older T6. The body remains quite light and provides a good sense of rigidity and robustness. The only difference is that it's slightly larger than other Rebel series cameras, but it delivers excellent physical controls for better tactile shooting. Outside of that, it also features digital stabilization, tethering support, time-lapse recording, a microphone input, and wireless connectivity. In the end, the Canon 77D is an excellent mid-range SLR and the more modern version of Canon's 80D. While this camera is technically positioned just below the 80D, it makes for the better of the two cameras in the vast majority of cases. It obtains many of the successful elements and essentially delivers the same photo and video quality and autofocusing performance. Not only that, but it's also complemented with the updated processor and better wireless connectivity. Overall, it's a lightweight, compact, and well-built camera that makes for a compelling choice for first-time DSLR users, and one that's not as intimidating as their professional 7D Mark II or 5D Mark IV cameras while remains a step above cameras like the T6. For the performance it delivers at such a bargain price, it provides a serious amount of value for money spent. So there you have it, my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Canon 77D. For more information on the 77D and other Canon cameras, check out our website, photographypx.com. Go to our camera reviews page, then to the Canon section, and there you will see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews of cameras that may be of interest to you. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>